This is pastime? While setting up coordinated plays with your team is often best, sometimes you will need to move the jack around the map by yourself. Any solo antics with the jack are called self-bombs. The ball mechanic important to self-bombs is that you cannot pick up your own throw unless the ball goes neutral, which is shown by the trail becoming white. A team-colored ball will become neutral under two conditions. First, if the ball hits the ground or a slope less than 45 degrees steep, and second, if the ball is hit by splash damage or a melee. On Soldier, you can do a standard self-bomb by throwing the jack at a wall and jumping when it comes back to you. The rocket jump will splash the ball, meaning you will pick up the ball and be propelled by the rocket in the same tick. So waiting until the ball is nearly inside your hitbox is ideal. A more advanced Soldier self-bomb is called a dribble. After you launch yourself into the air with the ball, you throw it at the ground and strafe away to not immediately pick it up. Then, the ball will bounce to a nice height for you to do a strong rocket jump into it. You can chain this for as many rockets as you have to confuse defenders or give your team time to kill them. It can also be a great way to stall while your teammate is setting up another bomb and then you can pass to them. Combining these two soldier self bombs can look something like this. On demo, you can do a similar technique by throwing it at a wall, firing a pipe at your feet, and then crouch jumping on the pipe when it detonates. In this case, you can usually pick up the ball when it hits the ground since the explosion of the pipe is delayed. Demo also has a special trimp self-bomb. To do this, throw the ball on the shallow side ramp and then charge into the steep side ramp. This will allow you to get an angle for scoring on the goal from a relatively safe starting position. Medic cannot propel themselves with explosives, but learning how to effectively surf can make Medic a dangerous class, since you also move quickly and throw the furthest. You want to apply pressure to enemies who have the ball to force a hand and potentially make mistakes. Medic lets you play as a quarterback, in the sense you'll be the one who holds the ball and then sets someone else up with a pass. However, you can also have your team play as a death ball around you and run forward toward the enemy goal. You do not need to worry about dying too much, as uber charge is not very useful. The uber will prevent your teammates or yourself from being able to pick up the ball, so the only time it is used is after the ball has been scored. Your goal as medic is to become a menace to society. You want to make the enemy's lives as hard as possible by exerting constant pressure on them, while also maximizing your team's potential by keeping them healthy. You have to be able to constantly shift between these mindsets and make split-second decisions of what is most important in each moment. There's a lot of game sense required in playing Medic since you're weaker in combat, but playing correctly can have a large effect on the outcome of the game. Ooh, uh -oh. he just knew that was gonna happen. What? what? Excuse Kabeda me? Tom just caught a surf and as a Medic defended the goal with that surf. There's a couple of ways to defend the enemy attempting to score. The best way is to jump in front of the goal when someone throws it in, which will intercept the shot. This can also be extended by pogoing on the goal. As demo, you can use the ramp below the goal to trimp up and defend as well, but note that demo can only do this once every several seconds and can't pogo. Another way is to shoot the goal with rockets or pipes so that the splash will cause the jack to go neutral. While everything previously mentioned can be done alone, your team is your most useful tool and you should know how to work with them. Your team can pass to you to set up bombs, you can pass back to them if your bomb goes badly, and you can set up bombs where multiple people pass to each other in sequence to distract the defense. There are several standard bombs that you will want in your repertoire. The first is called the glop bomb. The teammate passes to you, and you simply jump off the wall, onto the ramp, and jump again when you land, which sets you up perfectly to dunk. You could also do a standard sink bomb, where you only do the wall shot and then sink in front of the goal, which can make it difficult for anyone to intercept or shoot you. You can also sink from the ramp if you go high enough so that you have time to reload one rocket. Sometimes you'll be going for a bomb on the ramp and realize that there are too many defenders. If you don't have a teammate to pass back to, you can maintain possession of the ball 
by jumping off the ramp above the goal to loop back to your side. This could give time for defenders to die, but it is a bit of a gimmick since you are extremely vulnerable to being intercepted if an enemy just gets on the ramp behind you. Another standard bomb to know is when you are standing on top of mid before the ball spawns. Then, when it spawns on top, you jump into it and are able to score basically instantly. If they have defenders, this can be combined, combined with dribbles mentioned before to make it even more effective. Something to note with all your scoring attempts. The closer you can get to making it a slam dunk, the more likely you are to score. Meaning, you should try to get as close to the goal and wait until you're inside the goal to throw the ball to minimize the chances of a defense interception. A pass to pass bomb, so you do any type of bomb, then pass to another teammate who's starting their bomb. You might decide to do this with a lot of defenders or your bomb does not go well. The types of bomb you can do are only limited by your health and on creativity, so you also include your teammates in the bomb so end this way so you can score. It should give your passes some spice by flicking the direction you want the ball to start from after locking onto a teammate. By doing so, the ball will move briefly in the direction you're facing before curving towards a locked on target, and you can do this to avoid obstacles or players who may intercept the ball. Getting the hang of the lock on system can drastically improve your passes, and of course the best way to improve is playing first hand, so join the 4v4 pastime discord by clicking the link in the description and start playing.